Hey guys, um, I felt like making a snake video, so I'm gonna introduce you to my new baby. Well, not really new. I've had her for a couple weeks, but her name is Big Mama Lena, and currently, right now, she's fighting an upper respiratory infection, but we've been giving her shots like every three days and I don't know if this is gonna show up laggy for you guys or not but it's my computer's being a dick but this is big mama she's precious even though she likes to drool now all over me she's huge say hi what's that hmm What's that? Oh, baby. But yeah, she... She is by far <clears throat> one of the best snakes that I've ever handled. Like, period. Her temperament is great. Other than drooling on me. But... And wiping her nose off on my arm but she's about two and a half years old and she's just a regular ball python and she just recently got out of a shed which was really cool I got to help her out with that um, <clears throat> about halfway down her body <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> I'm getting over a sinus infection um, it kind of came off and uh, it, it separated from the rest of the shed so the bottom half I just kind of took it off like a sock but the top half was a little bit more tricky and I do have her shed saved I don't know why because it's cool it's proof that my baby's growing so but she is such a great snake. She is fantastic. Hey, baby. Are you getting camera shy? She gives good neck massages, too. But the vet has told me not to feed her for a little bit until she gets over her, her, her version of a sinus infection. And, um, well, I really want her to eat, but she could choke on it because she has to have her mouth open sometimes whenever she breathes. Yeah. And, um, she yawns a lot, which is actually really cute. Um, after I got her home from the vet, this is a funny story, um, I was putting her in the bathtub for a soak, and I look over, yeah, see, her mouth is open, uh, I look over, and I hear this sound, like somebody's head is being held underwater, and I look down, and there are bubbles coming out of her butt, rapidly, it's rapid fire, like no joke, and, um, stop drooling on me um she looks up at me after she delivers this calcified baby poop and she has her mouth open like I did something like absolutely happy and it, it just made me laugh really hard a little bit too hard but I thought it was really cute where do you think you're going huh that and her tail is ticklish. I learned that. She doesn't like to have her tail touched. Where are you going? Oh, and, uh... Oh. She does a bit of wheezing. Yeah, look at, look at this. Look at this beautiful snake. Yeah! Mm. She's got a 
pretty dirty. But we've got her in a 30 gallon right now. I think that's pretty much as big as she needs because she's she's pretty much out of the cage. If you look closely, you can see bubbles right here. There are some bubbles. Yeah, let me let me let me get those for you before you wipe them off on me. Okay, but. Snakes are amazingly easy to keep for pets. That and they're just, they're awesome all around. So if you guys want to see any more videos about her or something, I don't know, of her like cuddling my face or trying to climb on my glasses like she did whenever we first met. Hmm. But I guess I can show you guys the shed. So. <clears throat> Come on, big mama. <clears throat> She's a good girl. Okay. Let me get it. <coughs> this is the bottom half. It's crazy. It's so cool. Just came off like a sock. It's really neat. I should get some pictures of it. Get some really cool close-ups. That would make for an awesome photo shoot. I would have saved her, uh, her head shed. But, that one kind of came off in pieces. Where are you going? Do, do you guys see this? You see this right now? Yep. But, yeah. That's Big Mama Lena. Here's her head. She's great, but thank you guys for watching, and I hope I entertained you, and I think we're ready to, to explore the bedding. She loves to get under the covers and slip and slide around, so see ya.